y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at the Rainbow University collection that's releasing from Bluebird Lacquer starting on August 18th. This collection was sent to me for review and I'll link her storefront and social media down below. I will be featuring these on this Saturday's, but do they water marble? I know it's been a while, but I am bringing it back, especially for this collection. So this is a new addition to the Rainbow Connection collection. If you're interested, you can pick them all up on the release day and I'll go ahead and get right into the swatches. So first up is Ambro Crombie and Fitch, and this is a fiery red polish. I would say it's like a true red, maybe a little bit of blue base in there. It has a squishy, almost jelly formula, but still with an awesome amount of coverage. So I'll go ahead and show you that quick brush shot, and then I'll show you how it's swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. I do recommend going in for a regular or even thinner coat with these. They are a little bit on the thinner side, but one coat makes for awesome coverage. I do have a little bit of nail line peeking through, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it builds up for me in a second coat. A second just normal regular coat does bring this one completely opaque. They also dry down super insanely glossy. I don't have any top coat for my swatch photos today. That's just how glossy these dry down. So here's a look at that complete mini at two coats before a glossy top coat and this is my final swatch photo at an angle underneath artificial lighting. So next up is Advanced Algebra, and this is a kind of deep, warm, true pumpkin orange. So it is a little bit more towards the red side, super flattering on my pale and very red toned skin. So I'll go ahead and show you a quick brush shot, and then I'll show you how Advanced Algebra swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. This one is so close to being completely opaque in one regular coat. I did have a tiny flash of nail line. That type of consistency is what's going to make them amazing for water marbling. So I'll go ahead and let that dry and then show you how it builds up for me with the second coat. This second coat easily brings it completely opaque with no issues or staining at all. Also had no pooling really, even though these are on the thinner side, they were still really easy to use. So here's a look at that completed mini at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. That same beautiful glossy finish that's kind of you don't have to worry about at all. This is my final swatch photo at an angle underneath that artificial lighting. So next up is Language and Cultural Anthropology, Brology, and this is a beautiful juicy yellow shade with just enough mustard tones in there to make it very fall appropriate. This is my favorite kind of yellow to wear. I'll go ahead and show you a quick brush shot and then I'll show you how Language and Cultural Anthropology swatched on my natural nail. So this one kind of shows the formula of these polishes a little bit better. They are a little bit juicy but still with awesome coverage. I didn't have any streaking or low spots at all. These kind of level out beautifully all on their own. One coat made for nice even coverage here. I'm going to show you how it builds up with a second coat. So this second coat is kind of like the first coat for the other polishes. It's really close to being full coverage. I do still have a tiny flash of nail line though, so I do feel like it's worth it for the third coat. So here is a look at that third and final coat, and this for sure brings this one completely opaque with no issues at all. That same beautiful glossy finish, and I'm really excited to see what this looks like water marbled, especially over a white base. So here is a look at that completed mini at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I really, really love this color. This is my final swatch photo at an angle under that same artificial lighting. So next up is a molecular brology, bro. Lology. How would you say that? So this is a rich forest green, very beautiful cream. I did have some striations there on the bottle, but it really didn't affect application at all. So here's a look at that brush shot, and then I'll show you how molecular brology swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first easy coat. This one does go on really smooth and really easy. There is still quite a flash of nail line. I end up doing a little bit of a thicker first coat here and it made for beautiful coverage. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then show you how it builds up for a second coat. You can see I kind of had a little ridge there when I stopped in my first coat and that leveled out really well. This second coat for sure brings this one completely opaque for a beautiful, gorgeous deep finish. So here's a look at that completed mani at two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I think if you wanted to add a top coat, that would be amazing to extend the wear time, but you really don't need it for the finish. So this is my final swatch photo at an angle. Next up is Quid Bro Quo, and this is my top pick of the collection. This is a super intense deep blue with like hints of teal, very beautiful for fall, especially to kind of liven up that blue. This is one that I kind of worry about staining with because that color is so rich, but I had absolutely none using my base coat. So I'll show you how Quid Bro Quo swatched on my natural nail. Here I ended up doing a little bit of a thinner coat. It did make for nice even coverage with a good flash of nail line. On my other nails, however, I did go in for a little bit of a thicker coat. This formula 
feels a little bit more user friendly, maybe a little bit more thicker. That's how I prefer them. And I did have full coverage on some of my other nails. So here's a quick look at that second coat using a thinner application. So two coats, no problems, brings us completely opaque. I think it's really going to depend on your application style. So here's a look at that completed mini at two or one coat, depending on the nail before a glossy top coat. And this is my swatch photo at an angle under that artificial lighting. So next up is Bromo Erectus, and this is what I think of when I think of a true royal purple. Very beautiful, very vibrant, and jewel-toned on the nail, perfect for autumn. I'll go ahead and show you a quick brush shot, and then I'll show you how Bromo Erectus swatched on my natural nail. So here's a look at that first coat. My brush did have a little bit of wonkiness to it, but it really didn't affect application at all. I kind of went in for a little bit of a thicker coat here. It did bring this one so close to being completely opaque. This one does have a little bit of a thicker formula as well. I'll go ahead and let that dry and show you how it builds up for me in a second coat. The second coat for sure with no issues brings this one completely opaque with full coverage. So here's a look at that completed mani. At two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. This is another one that I think you may be able to get away with one coat depending on your application. That's my final swatch photo at an angle underneath that artificial lighting. Next up is leaves out sleeves out and this is the topper of the collection. This has so many flakies and glitters all in the colors of falling leaves with some jewel tones mixed in. Very beautiful. It's the kind of flaky that lays nice and flush on the nail as well. So there's a look at that brush shot. I'll show you how Leaves Out Sleeves Out swatched today over one coat of black. So I'm just doing one coat of Leaves Out Sleeves Out. It's beautifully dense, perfect as a topper there at just one coat. So here's a look at that completed mini at one coat over black before a glossy top coat. So not much texture going on here at all. Very gorgeous finish. It reminds me of all things Halloween and I love it. I wanted to show you really quickly how it looks with a matte top coat. So this is the Nothing Else Matters matte top coat from Bluebird Lacquer. This went on really smooth as well and dried down really quickly. I love a good matte top coat, especially on top of flakies. So here's a look at that completed mini with the matte top coat. It just brings all of those gorgeous like autumn toned flakies right to the forefront. This is my final swatch photo at an angle again under that same artificial lighting. So that does wrap up my swatch and review of the Rainbow University collection. Again, these are going to be available starting on August 18th. I will have all her storefront and social media as well as her Facebook group listed down below. If you'd like to see more photos, including macros of how Leaves Out Sleeves Out swatched over all of the rainbow creams, I do have that available on my blog at sloppyswatches.com. Or you can also follow me on Instagram at sloppy swatches. So stay tuned for the water marble on Saturday. I'm so excited to share that with you guys. And thanks so much for watching. See you next time.